Lynn, and today I'm here with a holiday series type of get ready with me video. This is more so like a get ready with me slash tutorial because I am walking you through the steps but you guys are seeing what steps I took to achieve this holiday hair as well as my holiday makeup looks. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look then stay tuned. But before I move on if you are not subscribed to my channel be sure to hit the subscribe button right here and this will ensure that you will always be updated anytime I upload a new video you will never miss out you will always be up to date so like I said be sure to hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed that way you can get instant updates for any new uploads that I have. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with the NYX eyeshadow base, I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. That way my eyeshadow sticks all day. It ensures that the eyeshadow will not crease and it will also make the colors pop a bit more. So next I'm just taking my BH Cosmetics Pro Studio Powder and I'm using this as a transition color and I'm applying that in my crease. And then taking my Morphe 35 palette, I'm just taking this orange shade and I'm just going to pop this into the crease as well, as well as the outer V. And then I'm also just taking my blending brush and making sure to blend it out throughout the crease and the inner corner of my eye. So next going into my Lorac Pro palette, I'm taking the color Rose and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid using my shader brush. And this color is so, so gorgeous. And then next taking my Inglot Gel Liner, I'm just going to sweep a little across my lash line just so I kind of have a base, a starter point. And then taking my Inglot Body Sparkles in number 65, I'm just going to apply that right on top of the Rose Eyeshadow from the Lorac Palette. Next, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I'm just going to wiggle this through my eyelashes just so I create some length and some volume before applying my false eyelashes. Going back into the Morphe palette, taking this really pretty cranberry shade, I'm going to cut my crease by just using a small angled brush and I'm just dabbing the eyeshadow in a very faint line type of motion. I'm holding it really taut against the skin and I'm just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing in a straight line inside of the crease to cut the crease. And then I'm taking the eyeshadow and I'm going to feather it out upwards towards the brow. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial, let me know. And then what I'm doing now, I'm taking my blending brush and I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines so it has a smooth transition in effect. So now going in with my Espresso Eyeshadow by MAC, I'm just taking a pencil brush and I'm going to add some depth and dimension by applying this right on top of that cranberry shade in the crease and then go back in with a little bit of black eyeshadow from the palette and just, you know, make it a little bit more deeper because you really want it to be more of like a smoky type of sultry look. So going back to my gel liner, I'm just going to wing this bad boy out. And I am using an angled brush like I said. This gel line is very creamy and it does not dry super fast so you have some time to work with it. Now I'm going to apply my false lashes. I'm using my 217 Monda lashes. I'm using two pairs that I've stacked together for a more full volumized look. And then I'm taking some of that cranberry shade and I'm sweeping that along my lower lash line. And then taking some of the black, I'm going to apply it to the outer one third area of the lower lash line and then smudge it out with the pencil brush. I'm also going to go in with some of that rose shade for the inner corner to open up the eye and brighten up the eye look. And then follow up with applying some of that gel liner in my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take some mascara and I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes. Now for my face, it's very self-explanatory. If you guys watch my tutorials, then you pretty much know my foundation routine. I use my fingers to apply my Makeup Forever HD foundation all over my face. And then I go in with a beauty blender sponge to blend out any harsh lines that I do see or any areas that I've missed.
So using my NC42 MAC Pro Concealer, I'm just going to highlight with this bad boy because I love using a lighter shade to highlight. It just makes my entire look look more well put together, my face looks more lifted, and I look more awake. And then I'm just setting that bad boy with my Buttercup Powder by Sasha Cosmetics. So next going in with my Urban Decay Dark Powder, I'm just going to apply this all over my face around the highlighter. This will get rid of the line of demarcation and make everything look well blended together. You don't want any harsh lines or and you don't want to like know and see where the highlight and the regular foundation starts. You want it to look seamlessly blended together. And then going in with my Anastasia powder in Camon Copper, I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and then place it around the perimeter of my forehead just for a more bronzy look. And then going in with my Lorac Tantalizer, I'm going to use this as a cheek color and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. It totally makes my, my face glow. And then I'm going to add a little bit more shimmer using my Bobbi Brown Limited Edition Bronze Glow Highlighter and my fan brush. And I'm just applying this to the highest points of my cheeks. For the lips, I'm using my lip liner from Santi Cosmetics in the color Cappuccino. And I'm just going to line the lips and then kind of blend it out on the lips a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my Close Contact Lipstick by MAC and just blend that out with my finger. To top it off, I'm using Trailblazer from Bare Minerals, which is a really pretty corally lip gloss. And that is basically it. So now it's time for the hair. So for styling, I'm going to use the Lustrum set by Numi. And this is perfect if you don't know which wand you want to take with you. It has five interchangeable little heads and it has a traveling case with a slot for each of the different attachments. It also has a slot for the glove, that way you don't burn yourself and also a slot for the wand handle and for the cord itself. So this is really, really convenient. I'm gonna be using the 32 millimeter wand head and I love it because it makes the most amazing curls ever. But before, I'm going to apply some of the Argan Oil to my Sheena's Hair Emporium Virgin Indian Body Wave Hair, which I love. And I'm using four bundles and a closure. This hair is amazing. I've been having it for a while, it sustains multiple heating passings as well as dying and if you guys are interested use Missy Lynn at checkout for $50 off of three bundles or more. And there's an amazing holiday special going on right now on Sheena's Hair Emporium. You buy two bundles, you get one free. But the catch is that you must call. All orders are going to be processed through the phone. And you have to say that Missy Lynn sent you in order for you to receive free priority shipping and handling and a free bundle. So this is only good from the 4th of December through the 24th of December. So it's right in time for the holiday season. You cannot beat two bundles, get one free. So make sure you call so you can get your holiday hair. So right now I'm just taking the wand and I'm just, you know, wrapping it around the wand itself, holding it for a few seconds and then releasing it. You guys know how wand styling goes. It just, I don't know, wands are just so much more easy and more convenient whenever you want to style your hair and you want to add that volume and that lift to it. And if you guys are interested in the Numi set, the Lustrum set, there's uh, coupon codes for my babies. You know, I had to look out for you guys. You can get 60% off of the Numi site, excluding the holiday catalog. And you can get free shipping if you use the code SNUGGLEUP. And also, if you want something from the Numi holiday catalog, you can only get 20% off of that but you have to use the code twinkling lights so either way you still win you still get a discount code and you get some moolah off but you guys can rock this holiday hair if you choose to you know get this this lustrum set And what I'm doing here, I'm just taking some hairspray and I'm just, you know, spraying the curls before I actually finger comb it and lift it for more volume. 
So this is the final look, big sexy hair for the holiday season, yes indeed. And also I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look, something very simple, very easy for you guys to rock. I hope my get ready with me video was something easy for you to follow. If you guys like these type of videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. That way I know and that way I can continue making these type of videos, especially for the holiday season. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Rate and subscribe.